Uh, guys, a big discussion this morning. Do you think brides should be allowed to wear white if they've been around the block? Get my meaning. Greetings from Finland. We love you in Finland. And a very, very warm welcome from Scotty McClue. Quality, quality content on TikTok. There we are. The Olympics start tomorrow. Nothing gets past you, Angela, you know. Hello, everybody. The only way is Irish. Absolutely not. It's a sign of purity. Yeah, but what if there's not been yes? That's what I'm saying, yes. George, you've got it in one. Greetings from Sydney in Australia. I think bride should, says Fat Spoon. Do you think so, even though they're not what you'd call pure, if you get my meaning? Dinky you do, I say, do join us. As soon as you come on, you're watching Scotty McClue. It's massive, absolutely massive. Fantastic. Welcome. I say, hi from Ireland, baby Bell. Thank you very much. Which part of Ireland? Does one vacuum the grass or feed the couch? Uh, one does neither, Julianne. One sobers up. Have you ever been to Norway? <coughs> no, but my father was one of your liberators in 1944. He was parachuted in to Norway. Not sure you can call this quality content, Scotty. Why not educators? That's what I'm doing, Patrick. I'm educating you all the time. There we are. If you ask questions, you get educated answers, you see. County Tipperary. Now, see in the tune, it's a long way to Tipperary. Till Paddy got excited and he shouted to the mayor or he shouted to them there. Do you have a mayor of Tipperary? I need to know. <coughs> As a councillor, not a horse mayor, M-A-R-E, M-A-Y-O-R. Hi from your castle, ex marshmallow. We love you in your castle like you was war last. <coughs> so there we go. Let's be honest, Scotty. A few people are pure before marriage these days. Fat Spoon, very honest indeed. They've all been round the block. <coughs> what made you start doing TikTok? Well, Prebenville, I've been 40 years on television, radio, newspapers, and the internet. Everything's been a success, except for one very, very bad man that I met who took my life savings off me. Very bad man. Convicted fraudster since then, I believe. Um, but um, I thought to myself, mainstream media is failing the people. We're getting nothing on it but the pandemic. This demoralizes people. And